Hi friends, I'm so sorry my video crashed from our last, um, from the page before. So we are on page 206. You were supposed to draw the rest of your comparison bars and we'll go ahead and get started in solving these. So number five says, Pippa has 48 more beads than Jeremy. Jeremy has 38 beads. How many beads does Pippa have? So I know that I have Pippa and I have Jeremy and I need to figure out who goes on top. So it says Pippa has 48 more beads than Jeremy. So that sentence right there, that tells me that Pippa goes on top and Jeremy goes on the bottom. Now I have to figure out where does 48 go and where does 38 go. So I see 48 has more right next to it. So that, that tells me that I'm gonna put my 48 in my oval because any number that has more or fewer goes in the oval. Now I have to find 38. So it says Jeremy has 38 beads. So 38 goes in Jeremy's box because that's exactly how many he has. And now I can find out my total. So if I pretend this is a math mountain, in order to find a total, I would do 38 plus 48. So go ahead and solve that problem. Eight plus eight is 16. Don't forget your new group. One plus three plus four is eight. So a total of 86. And when I go back to find my label, I see how many and the word beats. So 86 beats. All right, number six. In the classroom, there are 25 fiction books and 64 nonfiction books. How many fewer fiction books than nonfiction books are in the classroom? So here we have, instead of having two people, we have fiction and nonfiction. So I need to figure out how many, which one has more of that genre. So I see 25 fiction, 64 nonfiction. So I know that there are more nonfiction books. I'm going to put an NF for nonfiction. And then I know I have 20, oops, not 25, hello. I know the bottom one is going to be my fiction books. Okay, so there are 64 nonfiction books. So my 64 goes in the nonfiction box. And 25 fiction, so that goes in 20, or in the fiction box. And then I have my question mark right there in that oval. So we are missing a partner. When we're missing a partner, we have two different ways to solve. We could do a subtraction, or if you prefer, you can do the adding up method. My preferred method is subtraction, so I'm going to start subtracting. Four minus five. I can't do it. Go next door, cross off the six, change it to a five, and bring back ten. Fourteen minus five is nine, and five minus two is three. So 39 is my number answer. Now I need to go find my label. So here's how many and fewer fiction, not done yet, books. Whew. So fewer fiction books. All right, two more to go. Boris has 16 more cherries than Solongo. Solongo. Boris has 60 cherries. How many cherries does Solongo have? So let's figure out who goes on top. I know that I have Boris and Solongo. It says Boris has 16 more cherries. So Boris is going to go on top and Solongo is going to go on the bottom. I would like you to pause the video and fill in the rest of your comparison bars. All right, friends, let's see how you did. So I have 16 more. I know any number that is attached to more goes in the oval. So there's 16. I know that Boris has 60 cherries. So 60 goes in Boris's box. And I am missing a partner. I'm trying to figure out how many does Salongo have. Did you get it right? Okay, so 60 minus 16 
or 16 plus box equals 60. Your choice. If I have zero takeaway six, I can't do it. So I go next door, cross off the six, change it to a five and bring back 10. 10 minus six is four and five minus one is three for an answer of 34. And my label is cherries. All right, friends, last problem. So we have Mrs. Car Karimi has six, 36 fewer crayons than Mr. Cabral. Mrs. Karimi has 57 crayons. How many crayons does Mr. Cabral have? So I have two different teachers here, it looks like, and I know that Mrs. Karimi has 36 fewer. So I'm going to put M. K on the bottom, M, K, and M, C on the top. Now what I would like you to do is fill in these comparison bars on your own and solve the problem. Please pause the video. All right, friends, how did you do? Okay, so 36 fewer. I see the word fewer, so I know that goes in my oval. And then I know that Mrs. Karimi, MK, has 57 crayons, so that goes right here. So I'm looking for a total. So I have 57 plus 36. Seven plus six gives me a 13. New group, one plus five is six, plus three more is nine for an answer of 93. And my label is crayons. All right, friends, that is it for our lesson today. We will practice using comparison bars more in our small groups. I'll see you later.